I'm Hunter. I'm Rebecca. I'm Caitlin. I'm Nessa. This is the Family Show. Hello and welcome to Live Shenanigans. Live Shenanigans. Woo! I hope you're all doing wonderfully this evening. So if the anything happens, it goes black, or you hear a loud crash boom, we have like major thunderstorms going on and flooding. It's flooding down in Texas. So yeah, it's uh, it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to the show. That's right. In fact, what's going on tonight? It's we a, don't know. It's our, Actually, it's our variety show. Actually, it's there's variety. a surprise. Like three quarters of our show, Rebecca has no clue what we're doing. It's going to be great. Uh, I'm scared there's a box. <laughs> and he's like, don't touch the box. Don't look at the box. What's in like, the box? What's in the box? Okay, so. Already. This is our variety show. We do a variety of things. We do. So does the cat, apparently. That was interesting. He chimed in. Um, We always start off the show with. <laughs> with? With. So good to see y'all in the chat. You know what that means? We played something. We actually played something. <laughs> so last time I think we played two games. It was sad. We've done 100% better than that. That's right. We played four games. Yeah, take that. <laughs> well, technically three, but one we played... Last time we met with the chatness. Oh, you're so cheaty. So, so that cheaty. one counts as well because we it played does, it. Because we didn't talk about it. Because we didn't review it. All right. So there. So as always, I do them from worst to best. From from good to great. Or maybe poor to good. Or crap to poor. Who knows? <laughs> I know. And I better not see anything on the crap. So my list. first game, I rate a six. Okay, you're allowed to live. I rated a six. It's one of Ness's Ness's choices. Ness's game. We talked about it a while back on yeah. our uh, Ness actually brought it up. Top or ten I, games was... that we don't own but we love, and this was Ness's choice. That's so why I bought it and we played it. Because that's the problem we have in this household. <laughs> <laughs> that's Kung Fu Zoo. So Kung Fu Zoo is a dice flicking game. I'll give you a quick back of the box review. So it's a dice flicking game. You have a little like arena kind of place with little holes in the corner, and you're trying to flick the opponent's dice into the hole. But usually you flick your own dice into the hole. <laughs> and you have you have little your little dice have superpowers and things like that. There you go. Anything to add? Um, it's really fun, and it's great for smack talk. And I'm terrible at this game. And this is a shark. And this is a shark. And she enjoyed this game at my expense. She laughed at us <laughs> quite, quite a bit. Bolsterously. Boisterously. Bolsterously. Yeah. <laughs> so we played four times. Nessa won three. I won one. And Rebecca won the rest of the games. <laughs> Big old goose egg. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. So there's, Love it. You have uh, different animals. They have different superpowers. It's a cool little game. Uh... I'm surprised there hasn't been an expansion for this because it'd be super easy to do a little mini expansion. With more animals, so there's yeah. more animals and more dice. But gorilla, I don't know how well, I don't know how well it sold. Gorilla, so. zebra, cheetah, elephant. Those yes. are the animals that are yeah. in here, and it's hilarious because they have like they have one with the one's face. There's two with the side, one with the back, and then one with their butt. Oh, and uh, oh wait, footprints too. There's some of their feet. The head. Head, side, back. Back, uh, side, foot, butt. Yeah, there you go. There's two sides. Yeah, it's hilarious. So they have like um, different things depending on how they roll right. and what you get to do with them and stuff. I would like a sloth too, James. That sounds great. There should be a panda. I like that, Paul. Yeah, that's greatness. So yeah, it's just it's stinking cute. It's really funny. I like all of the different little rules and stuff, and the fact that it's like a. Uh, was that WWE like arena right. kind of situation right. thing, and the way you're like jumping off the ropes and attacking each other and stuff? Oh, it's just it's great. It's great. It's all right. Fun. It's all right. All right, my number three or two, depending on which order how you look at it. <laughs> my second game, I rate a seven. 
We played this last time, last chat. So I think it's even see, higher. If you want to see it played, we played it last time with you guys. That's wavelength. So this we, one, oh. we played it, so we're not, <laughs> I'm not going to go too far into it. It's a good little game. I want to try it in a normal setting, a non-internet setting. Um, but yeah, Define it's it's, it's it's a fun little party game. Basically, you're uh, guessing where percentages. Basically, each person is given two words that are kind of opposites of each other, and then you give a clue to point where in the range it would fall between those two words. So that's a lot of fun. And cool. I, I did see that there was a a Twitter wavelength, and that's pretty cool. Yeah. So there's actually a Twitter account that. Because it'd be easy to do. You just... It is. It's great. Well, they put a thing. They kind of do the opposite. They, do the... they put the range and they tell you what to put there. Like, um, they'll tell you a, oh, a topic so you, so and giving... they have the range and you're supposed to pick oh, what, what okay. you would give as the clues. Okay. It's, it's pretty good. And there's some hilarious, there's some funny people out there on the internet. <laughs> All right. Going to, going up, up one more number and one more no in the rankings. I get my third game. I give an eight. Ooh. That is Scoville. I was going to say, that's Sabasa. Sabasa. So, um, I really enjoyed this game. It's fun. Uh, it's been around a while. It's, it's an old. 2016, I think. 17. 17? It says 17. Ballpark. Anyway, it's the TMG <laughs> version 17. But, um, I enjoyed this game. Uh, I liked it quite a bit. But at the end, I was kind of like, this is one of those games I think will scale better with more people. I don't know if it scales perfectly up, but... I think with two people, it was kind of... Your choices were kind of limited in what you could do. I was going to say, I played it two-person and, and three-person, and yes, there was a lot more room to maneuver Yeah, we were very and limited. more choices in with three-player. So it was kind of your choices were a little more agonizing because it was... But you know, it's still really easy to block people Yeah. Um, in the three-player game, too. Mm. So So it's just uh, your... It's kind of a worker movement game? It's not really worker placement... You're basically moving around a little field, and you're crossbreeding peppers. So if you could step between a, a blue and a red pepper, you get a purple pepper. So it's you're collecting, that five times fast. You're collecting peppers to fulfill contracts and recipes, um, and that's kind of it. But you're planting peppers and... Peter Barber picked a peck of peckle peppers? Yeah, it's cool. Ooh, it's a cool little I game. I said it a lot. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I, I, I just... My gut tells me I would want to play this like four players, probably. Oh, I thought you were going to say four times in a row, and I was like, Yes! Four players. <laughs> Four players. Basically, okay, and and you know I'm a sucker for fun little gimmicky bits and stuff. And the little pepper meeples, oh, they're so cute. And depending on their spicy ranking, is how tall they are too. So the the original ones are pretty short, but then the the ghost peppers, or phantom, whatever, phantom, phantom peppers are like yay. Tall. I mean, it's it's cute. They get taller and stuff, and they all have and they're sparkly and clear. And there's color coded, you know, and it goes to brown eventually, and then to white and black. Yeah, and you have a goes, chart that tells yeah, you. Yeah, it's you got cross a nice three, little grid to help you do the the. It's, I just love it, love it. All right, I love it. And my favorite game that we played, I give it a nine. Wow. And you gave this a nine. Wow. And and oh, wow. and I think my gut says. This is another one I think scales with better with more players. I think if I played this like three or four players, it might be a ten. Nine was just too wide open. It was like we weren't really constricted that much. There wasn't. It didn't feel as tight as I think it should be. I think there should be a little more turn angst, and we kind of got to do what we wanted to do for the most part. Well, heaven forbid. <laughs> and that is the hotness that was hot, and now it's hot again, maybe? Well, you're making it so right. You're like, trend set. Let's do this. Smartphone. Okay, it's awesome. I enjoyed this game a lot. I really, really, really really like this game. Um, it's an economic game. It's reminded me, for whatever reason, it reminded me of Stockpile. It's like a really kind of a crunchy economic game, but it's... And he destroyed me out of so maybe that's part of it. But. Yeah, it's pretty... It's, there's a lot of decision <laughs> making in this game. It's got some really cool... Um, uh, for me, unique. I haven't seen um, um, action selection like this and I'll, I'll actually want to talk about it because I thought it was real it's, cool. It is really cool. Um, I This was a nice, pleasant surprise game. I thought this would be interesting and it's so not what I so expected. So it's an it's, it. it's action it. selection game and what do you have? You have these two little little pads. They call them like, and they were supposed to be like, you know, pads. Like, Tablets? Like, like pad, you know, like a, like a, like a pad. A pad, yeah. It's supposed to be one of these. Okay. And you have these two pads and they're double-sided. There's 
And these, all these different uh, symbols are uh, basically actions, or, or basically there's eight phases to the game, and each one of uh, each phase, for the most part, has a so associated symbol on this on these boards, and it gives you more actions in that phase. But the way it works is you take your two pads, and not only are you picking which side you you want to use, you're actually overlapping them. And when you overlap them, however many squares you overlap is how many is your base number of uh, phones you produce. So if I overlap one square, I'm going to produce one phone as my base, and there's ways to add to that. But if I overlap four, you can do one to four. If I do four squares, then I'm going to get four, four, produce four phones. But then again, I'm getting less actions because I'm covering those actions up. So it's a choice, and it's a real meaty choice. You've got all these. I mean, there's. I would not even want to guess... I probably should do the math on that. How many different combinations for you. of choices you have? I would guess it's in a hundred. Yeah, especially there. since you can do one because you can overlap. You can overlap like, anywhere you want, and you have two sides, and well, it's one to four sides. And not to throw a wrench in your planning too, but there's also your company. Well, yeah, you get you eventually get and, you eventually get uh, uh, tiles. Let's see if I can. I don't think I can grab one easily, but there's uh, there's little two piece tiles that you can add to oh, to, to mix things up. And I really like so, those. Um, I just thought this is a really cool way to do the action. So like, if you really want to do a lot of the let's say the blue action, which is logistics, then you can pick the the, the, you know, the side with the, there's like the, there's a side that has so you can do yeah. three potentially three. But if it you want to, cool. but if you do that, you're not doing any of the technology. Hardly any of the technology, which is the other side. So if you do technology, the purple ones, then you're not going to get as many of the blue ones. So it's like you're like agonizing over what well, you want to do, cool. right? Well, there's more to it even then because you've got the different texts that you can research. And when you get them and you get the, the ability, um, like the ability that I got first is you can take your tabs because... With these, there's rules about how you overlap, and you can't have any of those little two-piece tabs sticking out over right. those. Well, the ability I got to research was that you can you let have them it hanging off the hang edge. off the edge, which gave me who knows how many more combinations, right? So there's different possibilities there. There were some that would let you put down um, two companies instead of one. Stuff about like when you put your companies in different areas and stuff. Uh, it's just really neat little. Things that everybody can research. The first person that researches it, though, researches it, researches it, researches it though, gets um, the patent and they so get victory the extra points. victory points because they researched it first. And just really, oh, I love it. It's a really great economic game. If you I like economic like games, it. this you got to try this one. This this one blew me away. It really is good. And like I said, I think it has the potential to be a ten for me with wow. more, with more players. That's how much I liked it. That's that's impressive. All right. So you got all those out too, so I'm not sure what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing either. You know what? We could do a segment called Let's Watch Hunter Pack the Box. <laughs> well, this little, little piece is not in there. I know they're stubborn. I don't know how he always gets the, he'll get the game and it'll be like, it'll fit. And then if you've forgotten your multiplication tables, <laughs> they have them as a cheat inside here. I did snicker a little bit about that. But, um,. But what's yeah, but what's cool what's tired, cool about it is that think. you do that you do the action selection and then there's eight phases and you just your first phase is peck your actions and then boom you're just firing off all your actions that you selected you get to spend your action points that you and made. it's really smooth I mean once you learn the first mm. after the first two rounds of us playing we didn't hardly even have to look at the board to remember what order everything was in but it has it in a nice and neat order across the top of the board. Awesome. Really well designed Really game. good game. Cool game. And it's it just got, I don't know if it's just got, but it's recently it's got a... released with uh, Arcane Wonders version. Oh, really? It just came out. Ooh. And it's Seal of Excellence. Look at that. Ooh. And it's a Dice Tower Essentials. Ooh. So. Shiny. So it was, I really enjoyed it. Pardon me while I drink some antifreeze. <laughs> For those of you that weren't here last week, <laughs> Hunter likes me. Well, that's the four games we played. So <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Good range. That, that is a good range. I'd say that was pretty All right. sweet. Alright, so next up. What's next? I have the number next to it. I'm supposed to push a, 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 a one. <laughs> I like... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. That pile of boxes still... 
every time I see that. Oh, was I have a question that we they wanted? No, no, no. I just thought it was funny. Um, Sorrow Song mentioned a great segment we could have. Where on earth did that piece come from? <laughs> what do you mean? You left something else out of the box or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We have that occasionally. It's it's fun. Usually pretty good about. We're finding usually stuff. really good. So I got. I think I talked about this either last time or the time before. So I got one game for. I actually ended up getting two games from birthday, but I got one game and one kind of a silly ha-ha. a silly game. So we'll do that one. That was the big one. Big one. So I think I talked about this last time. I think I told the story about how I'll tell the story real quickly again. <gasps> Yawn. Rebe- I put this in my Amazon cart. Rebecca bought it. And then it came out in cool stuff like the next day at twenty dollars less. So I I canceled the order, reordered it myself from cool stuff. And added some games for, for free shipping. I think we talked about this already. Uh huh. This is why Yeah. He's always so surprised at his birthday. Uh, I know, I know what's going on. Yeah, you do. All right, so that's this game I got from the grandparents, right? Yes. The the I'm calling the grandparents, no, <laughs> Rebecca's parents. So I got the knot tying game, Campers Challenge. I can't wait to go camping even more now. So you know what we're gonna do with this? We're gonna have a knot tying challenge. We're gonna have a. <laughs> So, on this cover here, you they have, have a... You get to open it. Oh, I get to open it, too? Yes. you can talk about the outside if you Okay, want. first I gotta... I, I, you need first help impression, you got Yeah, it. I'm gonna need help, probably. Uh, let me get the, the first impressions first. Get the scissors or something. Okay, so, on the front of this, we got dude sitting on a rock looking away from his tent. I'm gonna guess that he messed up something, and something's tied incorrectly, and it's stuck. And he's trying to figure it out. So, your goal is to get yourself unstuck from something unstuck yeah i don't know i'm i'm guessing he somehow tied his shoelaces to his tent that's my that's guess that's the you're just thinking you're just guessing what the game's about that, that's that's it yep so you're so you're gonna have one person is gonna tie something impossible to your tent and you have to untie it and figure out the knot this packaging was deceiving i thought it was soft plastic it's actually hard plastic what oh wow well, it's, it's, it's weatherproof in case you take it camping. I guess so. Right? It's like hard <laughs> core plastic. Like <laughs> thick plastic. There you go. Yep. So so that's what's going on here. And it says, challenge arrival, learn and master 44 knots. Holy good goodness. Knot tying cards range in difficulty from one to five points. Play it as a game. Oh, dude. We got, okay. You got a string in it, I guess. I bet. You're tying things. Yes. Okay, so we have... Maybe we're not tying our tent. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, now, I'm going to say right now, I had to do knot tying when I did American Heritage Girls, and this stuff is slick. Like, I like... This is... Oh, this is this is better than the stuff we learned on. It's like, we had it's like, par- it's like paracord. Yeah, this is this is better. The stuff we learned on it was like slick that's the stuff shoelaces. that people use to make Ooh. the the little bracelets. Yeah, no, this stuff. is better. This is way better than I thought it was because the oh my gosh, the stuff we had for American Heritage Girls was so slick. It was so easy to like screw it up. It was really hard to do that. Okay, this isn't that long though. This is interesting. Um, so it's all about the knots for sure. And so I'm guessing that we have cards. All right, let's see. Let's see here. Let's see. Quality crafted. Oh no, that's ads. All right. Oh, okay. Now, now I'm intrigued because these are also regular playing cards. They are playing cards. So whoever loses at poker. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. The Fisherman's Bend. Oh, these are cool. Oh, slip knots. Okay, I. One thing I can do, I can do a freaking slip knot in like two seconds because. Whoop, um. I have to do those for crochet. So, that's cool. I got one. One. Three points. Is there not another cord? It has, it has some that have double cords. How do you do double cords? That's a good question. Ooh. Are we missing that? You have to buy two? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, man. That's the trick. You gotta buy I'll two. Add, I'll add a shoelace to this, definitely. Oh, this is great. They teach you how to do, like, square lashing. So, granny knots. Wow. Oh, and they actually have the picture and stuff and how, how to do that. I'm curious about the point levels, though. I don't see... They say challenge one through five, but I don't see the challenge 
level on here. I'm guessing the face cards are the roughest. Do they go in difficulty? Because that three that I did was really easy. Oh, here we go. Knot strength. When you tie a knot, the breaking strength of your roper line is almost always reduced. Nope, that's not what that was. Okay. Random facts, though. How much your knot is reducing the strength of your rope. The history of knot tying. This is pretty cool, actually. All right, so this is like nerd out camping style. I am <laughs> stoked. I think I'm going to add another string. They And they actually added... This is a good string, though. This is a really good string for knot tying practice. Just saying. Okay, so... Not too shabby, not too not shabby for a goofy little too thing. shabby. I, I got what you did there. That was good. I was trying to be subtle. That wasn't subtle. All right, I don't know how to pack that up. You, you do that. Yeah, so this, this. Oh, no. Is there not another cord? Oh, that was good, <laughs> troll. I see what you did there. Okay, this was glorious. Okay, so this looks like fun. I'm, I'm stoked about this. All right, so we, we were going to do a Rebecca's review and a back-of-the-box review. I'm axing that because I'm ready to get to the oh, man, fe festivities. Like, <laughs> and the festivities involve... So what we're going to do tonight... <laughs> the video you picked. Okay. It is the Battle of Wits, Rebecca versus the Internet. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know what I'm beating you at, but it's going to happen. We're going to have contests of wit. After today's long day, this will be exciting. So first so, so first things first, uh, we need, oh, Carl, yeah. we need a, a captain... For the first round of the Battle of Wits. Oh, Captain, my captain. And you'll be the final decision maker for the first round. Then we'll get a new captain after Ooh. that. So I need a captain. I think we're on very short delay. Let's see how long our delay is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it here. Hold on. All right, hold on. Let's see how long our delay is. Well, Tommy already said Carl. One. Yeah, it's more about 10 second delay. That's pretty good. Okay. All right, who's the captain for the first round? <laughs> Tommy's getting thrown under the bus. <laughs> All right, Tommy, your first captain. <laughs> and the game for the first round in the Battle of Wits <laughs> is Super Mario Connect 4. <laughs> in the Battle of Wits, round one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. All right. It's on, Internet. <laughs> Wow. All right, Tommy, your first decision. It's an important decision. Are you Mario or are you Luigi? It's a me. That's your first decision. <laughs> it's an important one. <laughs> the one still for you guys. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> sort of gets the square. Fun captain y'all have. <laughs> Mario. Tommy is Mario. So you're go. red. Rebecca is green. Okay. I don't know who goes first. Let's see who goes first. Ah, the internet. Now we're going to go with what the rules say. Oh, man. Oh, it's decide <laughs> who plays first. So I say for the first, we'll alternate. So the first round, the internet goes first. Oh, okay. All right, so Tommy, you're going to pick a number, and you can consult your, your team, but not too long. You got a number between one and seven. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You just tell me a number and I'll put your disc in. Simple as that. And there's your green. If you need more, I'll, I'll get them for you. Yeah, gracias. Just connect four. It's a connect four. You get four in a row. Across, you're trying to get four in a row, across, or diagonal, diagonally or up or and down. Straight up and down. It's just four diagonal, in a row. Diagonal, up and down, four. You're getting four, four in a row. Four in a row. This four is in so a row. Tommy picked four. Okay. That's this one. Why is it off? One, two. Oh, it's a. Uh, oh, you got the top. Yeah, it's a slider. Why is it? It's weird. Oh, I guess it's to keep them it's, from falling? Yeah. All right, so you picked four. So four. Done. Keep them coming. It's Connect Four, you dork. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
called Connect Four. <sighs> Been a long day for all right. Another four. He's doing another four. Okay. Okay. Just gonna let him win, huh? No. Jeez. Ah, uh, Cinco Linco. That one's fun too. I like Cinco Linco. Carl just says four every time. Five. <laughs> oh, I was like, is this all the pieces no, I have? Okay, okay, okay. There's no, you're good, more. you're good. There's lots you're more. You're good. I just didn't give them all out to you. <laughs> you watching your chat? Yep. Okay, okay. I'm waiting for Tommy's. Whatever Tommy says is what we go for. <laughs> Since he's the leader, he's doing three. Oh, you guys are going to go that way, huh? All right. So much theme. <laughs> wow, troll. That does sound like a that's quite a game to get six. Woo! Six pieces on the table. That'd be rough. Five. Like it. So, right here. fun <laughs> you almost let me get away with it except for you meddling kids okay. the battle of wits there's not much here <laughs> on my the end the battle anyway. of wits <laughs> we're gonna fill this thing up and no one wins <laughs> it's gonna go three Everyone's tense and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, 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 the championship of the world Battle of Wits Challenge is, is, is happening tonight. What? Went three. So that's this one. Okay. Not sure what that did. I'm not sure either. You guys are kind of concentrating this in the middle area. Yeah, he's trying to get me to do the stupid, and I'm not going to do the stupid. Sorry. <laughs> ha! I see what you did there. There are not any wits. Two. He's doing two. Bye. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. This is not, you're not trying to string four in a row. No, I'm not. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Get it? Not. I'm string. not. <laughs> and string. And string. Sorry, I'm focused on the game. Clearly. <laughs> five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you little procrastinator, you. Well, he's trying to put you in a position where I you know have... what he's doing. Too bad, now you must play something. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to need more of these, sir. 
Thank you. They're kind of fun to play with these. They've got like little Six. teeth along the edge. That's this one. Six. Really? Really, Tommy? Hmm. Well, that's already blocked. Okay, I'm just making sure there wasn't something else weird I was missing. Nope! Okay. Six again. Okay. Thanks, Rebecca guys. Rebecca wins. <laughs> Did you just give up? I feel like you gave up. Rebecca has de destroyed the internet. I'm destroyer of worlds. <laughs> <laughs> Round one goes to Rebecca. There's more multiple rounds. Yes. Of this game? No. Oh. A battle of wits means many different witty things to do. Oh dear. I have to prove myself more than once. Alright. Need happen. a new captain. Apparently I... that captain sucked. <laughs> oh wow. I can say that because I know him. <laughs> if I don't know you, I wouldn't say that. Until I met you. Then I would say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks Hector. Thanks Hector. <laughs> Alright, who's the next captain? You don't get to know what game it is until you say you're going to talk to it or not. Ooh, ooh, James. Tommy must walk the plank. Carl. Carl, you want to be the captain? Come on, Carl. You Carl, know you want to be captain. I got this the game for you, Carl. It's called Box of Rocks. <laughs> How did I not notice that was missing off the shelf? Box right. of Rocks. Tommy again. Carl, no. you're the captain for Box of Rocks. Did you just volunteer, volunteer Carl? Yes, I did. Okay. Carl? Well, James volunteered. He says I? he wants to do Zaya. <laughs> Zaya? I don't know if we can do that. You probably would destroy me, I don't know if we yes. can do that. All right, so you'll be the rock, and the internet will be... Oh, no, the rock's going in the bag. Except there's an what extra... What do you mean I'll be the rock? There's an extra rock. We have other meeples. I always get extra meeples. What do you want to be? Um, whatever meeple you can find. I don't find. think I have any. Hand. Oh, they're over, they're over there. Where you have an orange guy. Oh, okay. All right, so Rebecca's the orange guy. Yay! And you'll be the little wood, wooden color guy. Yeah, the one that actually comes to the game. And we got a score sheet right here. Carlos Wits and Wagers. <laughs> All right. So it's it's first one to three. The way the game works oh is, I'm going to ask you a trivia question. Shuffle the cards just in case, because I did play that with my students. I'll just cut it in half. Okay, that'll do it. All right, so we're going to ask you a trivia question. All the trivia questions have an answer. Of zero, one, or two. So you, you're going to answer zero, one, or two. Rebecca will secretly put her answer with the rocks. You'll, like if you say it's zero, you'll hide and you'll hide it under your hand and oh, do okay, that. Okay, 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 and yep. then and then you do the rocks. They're not doing the rocks. It's you versus the internet. Oh, it's just okay. It's a battle of witch. You versus the internet. The rocks are not playing in this championship because the rocks would probably win. But we could possibly be no. Better than... Okay. I've made the game, and it is thusly. Okay. All right, Carl, you're the final answer. Zero, one, or two. He says zero. First question. <laughs> Carl, I want you to put final when you give me your number. So you guys can okay. discuss. Okay. 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 Question number one. And no, no cheating tonight on the internet. No, no Googling. All right, here we go. Question number one. How many U.S. states grow coffee beans? The answer is zero, one, or two. You can't look at the screen until you pick your answer. I already picked. All right. Zero, one, or two. How many U.S. states grow coffee beans? Zero, one, or two. Carl says zero. I said one. And the correct answer is one. Only Hawaii grows yes! coffee beans. Yes! Yeah, Hawaii. Wow. Although the U.S. territory of Puerto Rico grows them as well. Well, that's garbage. They the answer is one, and Rebecca answered one. She is destroying you. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Mix up my rocks. Oh, that's a gimme for Hawaii Rebecca. Hawaii doesn't count. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is a good one for our family show. Of the comedian George Carlin's seven no-no words that can never be said on TV, how many don't have four letters in them? Zero, one, or two. 
The seven no-no words. Although some of them I think can be said on late night TV now, I think. Man, the standards... But... The standards from... Since, like, we were kids to what? now is, like, so different. Um, wow. Uh, I don't remember his... The seven words you can't say on TV. How many are not four-letter words? All right, Carl's already decided. Oh, he has? He said two. I said zero. <laughs> the correct answer is two. Crap! And uh, they do not list them, so you can research <laughs> that on your own. They have, uh, like, symbols. <laughs> they have symbols? Yes. That's greatness. Two. So okay. C Carl is I mean, correct. I, I figured... All right. Carl would know those, though. That's one to funny. one. First one funny. to three I can tell wins you this round of the Battle of Wits. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we're tied. I got this. Alright. This is this is applicable, I guess, for we're kind of movie buffs in around here. How many actors have won both an Oscar and a Razzie, which is the like your the hor the horrible award in the same year? How many actors have won both the Oscar and the Razzie? Which is like worst actor of the year, worst actor in a movie, whatever, in the same year. Hmm. You decide? Yeah. Carl says one. I said one. The correct answer is one. Yes! In 2010, Sandra Bullock won the Best Actress Oscar for The Blind Side. Best that was, actress. That was a good movie. And the day after winning the worst actor, Rosie, for All About Steve. I don't even know that movie. There you go. Wow. You both get a point. All right, this is it. This is for the win. Okay. Let's get my rocks today. Don't know what I have. Here we here we go. Oh, that's too easy. That's too easy for, for geeks. I have, to, I have to veto that one. Well, that's not fun. Sorry. <laughs> if you don't know the answer to this question, you lose the game. <laughs> Let's see. Nah, I don't like any of those. We're going to pick a good one for the last one. Thanks, Tommy. Well, it's about a guy named Steve. Durr. <laughs> Why is the dog... Oh, no. The dog wants outside. Another easy one. The dog wants outside. I'll get it in a second. Okay. Chill, dog. Hold That's on. too easy for Rebecca. I, I, want, I want a fair question here. It's a Greek... You're, you're not, Greek you're it's not... a Greek alphabet question. I'm not going to answer that. The internet might know Greek. How, how dare you? You're like... I, I am being... You, you. I want a kind of generic one that everyone kind of has a little bit of knowledge about. Katie, can you let the dog out? Yeah. Bless you. Go say. Oh my goodness. Dog's losing her mind. Oh man. That's not fair. I'm getting screened. You guys aren't getting screened. This is nonsense. Dude. Alright, I want to ask a science question. Carl knows science. Right? I, uh... <laughs> oh, here we go. Jelly beans. That's I'm a great one. I like I'm jelly science. beans. Alright. How many jelly bean licorice flavored... Wait, let me start this over. How many jelly belly licorice flavored jelly beans do you need to eat with two buttered popcorn jelly beans to replicate the flavor of biscotti? How many jelly belly licorice flavored jelly beans do you need to eat with two popcorn Buttered popcorn jelly beans to replicate the flavor of biscotti. So how many licorice beans do you eat with buttered popcorn beans to get biscotti? Zero, one, or two? I don't know. Is this a trick question? Or is there some weird combo thing going on? You got your answer? I guess so. I think Carl answered. Yes, he, Carl said one. I put one as well. So it's it's irrelevant, the answer. And the correct answer is one. So we're going into the sudden death tiebreaker round. I guess there is a good use for the licorice flavor then. Okay. Let's see. It does sound wrong on so many levels, neutral. I agree. That was a weird question. I know the answer to that question. If you're watching... 
sports anytime around this time, you'd know the answer. Where is Nessa? Nessa's in bed. It is school year has started. Child crashes. She goes to bed early. She has to get up early too, though. <laughs> lady, yes, Lady is our dog. People are yelling hi in the chat. <laughs> She's waving from afar. She does not want to show up in her pajamas. <laughs> I cannot believe you're spending half the night screening the questions from me. Well, a lot of them are just this. For if you're a geek, you know a lot of these are geek questions, and we just you, if you don't know them, you're just got turned in your geek card. Okay, that's fair. But oh, here we go. Here we go. I got. There's <laughs> a good one. There's a good one. We're book readers in this in this group. How many comic books? This is this is a, Carl. I'm giving you a, a, a softball here. How many comic books have sold for more than three million dollars at auction? How many comic books have sold for more than three million dollars at auction? I'll leave my rocks where they are. I'm done. The rocks have spook. <laughs> That's actually what I say when I play with my students. <laughs> How many the comic rocks books have have sold for more than three million dollars in auction? You know, this is a great idea. Let me play this with my students tomorrow. When was this game made? This game was made in. Oh, we got an expert in the house because it made no difference. Two thousand sixteen. Will that make a difference? Yeah, probably. Could have been one so I mean, recently. We've had right? so many Marvel movies and stuff in the last. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Is that a is that a, is that a final Carl? You put a question mark in there, like you're thinking. I need I need a, I need a final answer without a question mark, please. All right, Carl's final. He said two. I did two. Oh crap! <laughs> the correct answer is one. Wow, only one? The 1938 Action Comics number one sold on eBay in 2014 for $3,207,852. It was the debut of Superman. Wow. One. Superman one? Or Superman one, like W O N? I need to pick a, I need to pick a harder question then, apparently. Apparently. You keep picking geeky ones after saying not picking geeky ones. I, I don't know. know what's going on. All right. As of 2016, apparently. Okay. How many countries do not sell Coca-Cola products? Or as it's worded here, because I worded it differently. In how many countries does Coca-Cola not sell its products? In how many countries does Coca-Cola not sell its products? By the way, the fact that this is even this low of a number is insane. Yeah. Regardless of what the answer is. there are some really obscure, is. isolated countries and they still yeah. sell Cokes. Apparently they have some random vending machine somewhere. I mean... Carl said zero. I say two. The correct answer is two. Da, da, na, na, and it, and da, both da, da. of them make sense, and I would have said two as well. Antarctica? No, just kidding. They have it there, I'm sure. Which two do you think it is? I, these are the exact two I thought of. Madagascar. No. Think about isolated, isolationist countries. North Korea. Yes. Cuba. Yep. Really? Cuba and North Korea. Wow, I was just throwing out that second one. Rebecca! That means... That Rebecca means, wins! That means every country in Africa? Yes. Those island nations? I guess. Rebecca wins! The internet, you are being destroyed by Rebecca. This is sad, sad, I sad. dropped the mic, but it's a little this expensive. This is sad times. This is sad. I'm pretty happy, actually. And, and, and uh... James is probably more correct than I was, but my assumption would not be the right answer. Uh, it's probably actually trade embargoes is causing it, not the, the country. Because Coca Cola is like, we will have our fingers on everything. Yeah, All right. that's true enough. All that's right, enough. We, hey, need, we need a new, we need a new champion. Move that out. I may need to, I may need to use that tomorrow, my kiddos. That's I need a, a new, a new, cha a new a leader, game. someone that actually can win, someone that's maybe good at trivia. Hint: Who's a good trivia person? Man, man. Bye, Carl. Bye, Carl. Good to see you, Carl. Who's our trivia? Who's our tri where's, where's Kabuki? That's a trivia. <laughs> That's true, too. They must be doing a live play or something. They might it. be. They might be. I need a trivia. Trivia person. 
James, it's okay. You can still be captain. Come on, come on, come on. Hector, be... you're a tribute oh, person. Hector. Hector, you've been voted in. Yeah. All or right, James. Hector. James or Hector. 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 <laughs> Hector, is, Hector is going he to play tribute. Trivial Pursuit Family Edition. Yes. That's all. These questions were hard, if I remember. We played against the girls. To make it, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate an adult question and a kid's question. You are a... So. Since you Family guys went, fir since you guys went first on, uh, on uh, what was the first game we played? Connect 4. Connect 4. Rebecca goes first in trivia. And you get... The way it's going to play, we're going to play, we're going to play Thomas and Family style. Oh, dear. So if you get a, you get to pick your category, and if you get the answer right, you get a pie piece. Okay. First one to fill their pie piece up wins. <laughs> There's no last question or anything. First one to fill their pie piece up wins. You do not get another round if you get an answer right. All right. Wait, you don't. You're just done if you get a question wrong. You, or you just go. It just alternates oh, okay, okay. each round, regardless if you get it right or wrong. <laughs> Hector says. Oh, you want to be yellow? What's Hector? What's Hector? What's Hector's color? He just Paul, Paul says yellow. Who's who's what? Hector's the leader. What color do you want? We got uh, blue, yellow, green, yeah, purple, you pick your, pick your mojo, right? and pink. He says green. Green. All right. He's usually green. Yeah. Except when he plays games with me. Sorry, Paul. He's not allowed. If you're captain, you get to pick. We're gonna start with an adult question. You get to pick your category every round, and the categories are. The standard trivia pursuit categories. If you don't know them, blue is geography, entertainment, history, arts and literature. I'll, do, I'll just do the names. Art and literature. You're literature. not telling us what the colors are. I'll just do the names. Art and literature, science and nature, sports and leisure. Rebecca, pick your category. Science and nature. Science and nature. We're doing an adult question first. Then we alternate doing kids' questions in the second round, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, oh I thought you were going to give me adult and then Hector gets all no. the kid questions. Okay. No, adult and then kids. I thought you were totally and trolling me. All right, question number one, and this is as of, if you're one of those people that want to know as ofs, this is as of... It might make a difference. 2013. So Ooh, little... okay. All right. Question number one, you just said, what did you say? Science and nature. Science and nature, which is uh, green. Okay. Which, which is not a celestial body? White dwarf, red giant, or pink star? Let's go with pink star. Is that the kid's question? That's got to be the kid's question. Do I got it backwards? <laughs> it's got to be a kid's question, um, right? You know what? There are That's an adult question! There are adults that cannot Rebecca, you get it right! Oh my gosh, that's so sad. We live in a sad, sad world. Stay course, in school, folks. All right, Hector, pick your category. Geography, entertainment, history, arts and literature, science and nature, or sports and leisure. 2013, back when science was real. <laughs> That's sad, but true. He says arts. Arts. Arts is okay. purple. Okay. It's normally brown, right? In a regular game? I thought brown was history. History's yellow. See, this, this color is not the same as the original. It's backwards to me. All right, arts, which is purple. What does this have to do with arts? I don't know. You still have to read it. Dude, some of those are off the wall, remember? We've had this discussion. I'm not sure why this has to do with arts and literature, but sure. Okay. What is the name for the short sheaths at the end of shoelaces? The aglet? The ferrule? Or ferrule? Ferrule? Or the holster? What does that have to do with arts and literature? Someone wrote about it in a book once? <laughs> the, the short sheath at the end of shoot laces. The aglet, the ferrule, or the holster. You can check my pronunciations of those if you wish. Aglet, ferrule, and holster. I think you're good. Yeah. Yeah. I right, have to give us a final when you, uh, so if you're discussing, I know whether your, your, your answer is final or not. Again, no Googles. Please, no Googles. Captain Picard never visited a pink star. That's true. I go off of my Star Trek as well. <laughs> Cobbling is an art. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is aglet. A ferrule is the tip of the umbrella. And a holster is a storage thing for a weapon. <laughs> I was like, we all knew the holster part. All right, so they got it. Another question about knots. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Pretty much. That's the theme of the night. All right, oh, Rebecca, pick a category. Uh, geography. Geography. Why does it not want to go in? Oh, they, they set up. That's weird. They're, yeah, they're, they're slices. That's they're weird. pie slices. They're, they're but meant it's, to be it's 3D. Up. Yeah, they're 3D looking. Yeah, no. What did he say? What did you say? <laughs> this is the kids question. Geography. Geography. Kids question. Oh, wait. It's kids? Kids. Sports and leisure. Sports and leisure. Kids. Which one of these is a real sport? <laughs> the wrench throw, the hammer throw, or the pliers throw? I want to say it's the hammer throw. Is that a final answer? Yes. You're correct! I get a pie! Is anyone, is anyone going to miss a question? That's going to be... Then we have to go until someone misses. Yeah, that's cool. All right, Hector, your kid's question. We got uh, geography, entertainment, history, science and nature, and sports and leisure. Don't look at the chat. They're answering your questions. Please. I don't look at the chat. It's all good. <laughs> what does that I mean? Oh, he means throwing things at him. Oh! He... <laughs> That's messed up. I was like, what? Sports ball! All right, kids game. <laughs> Yours is much harder uh, than Caitlin's Rebecca. online. Your, 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 question, your, your question is much harder than Rebecca's, so I, I'm sorry. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> Judo means violent way. True or false? <laughs> Judo means violent way. True or false? Caitlin's in the chat. Is she? <laughs> yes. Where? <laughs> she's, she's savvy princess. Oh. <laughs> Don't make us block you, kid. Is that final? <laughs> Actor, put a final. So I know you're not discussing. Oh, they're just, yeah, we don't know. I was like, he answered. All right. False. Judo is actually Japanese for gentle way. Oh, how disappointing. <laughs> All right, Rebecca. No, Judo is very, very Pick category. controlled. Uh, this is adults. Adult questions. Let's do geography. Geography, which is blue. I can't pronounce one of these words. Yes! Bring it. Which is not part of the United Arab Emirates? Ugh, that's not a good strong point for me. Okay. Jordan, Dubai, or Al Fajara? Did I say that right? Jara. So, which is not part of the United yes. Arab Emirates? Al Fajara? Is that Jaira? close? Is that close? I don't know. I'm going to go with Jordan. Final answer? Yes. Yes. Jordan is his own country. Yes. That's an easy uh, Yes, it is. That was easy. And its capital is Amman. This is way too easy. Oh, because I'm getting them right? Yes. Oh. Oh, I didn't give Hector his peg for his... What did he do? Sports? What yep. Did, what? Yep. He did sports? He did sports. Sports, sports, sports. All right, Hector, adult questions. You got choices of uh, geography, entertainment, history, and science and nature. <laughs> entertainment. Entertainment, which is pink, which it always is. Who directed Slumdog Millionaire? I'm glad I didn't get that. <laughs> I think the internet... Internet uh, team. They probably Horton know that. Get it. Yeah. That won crazy awards and stuff. Who directed Slumdog the Millionaire? You know that one dude. That guy that knows things and that stuff. That one guy that knows things and stuff. Yeah, they're right. Wow. Correct. Good Danny job, Boyle Internet. is the correct answer. Well done, Internet. I would not have gotten that. I wouldn't have gotten it either. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah, but I would never have thought of it yeah, in, my, in my brain stuff. I'm terrible with names. All right, we're in the kids' questions. Kids' questions. We maybe okay. go until someone misses. This is going to be exciting. <laughs> um, and I picked the... If, okay, if we, if we go all the way, so basically we're going to get equal number of rounds. Okay, okay. If, we're, if, it's, if, a, if it's a tie at okay. the end of equal number of rounds, then I pick categories. Okay. And you have to answer them, and they're all adult questions. Sounds good. All right. Entertainment. Entertainment kids. Yes. <laughs> it's a kid's question. It I, is a you got to give question. it to me. In the film Bambi by Disney, 
What sort of black and white animal is flower? He's a skunk. <laughs> well played. My pie, please. <laughs> this idea of kids' questions wasn't. I a, watched what, it when it first came out. All right, out kids' question, Hector. A... You've got uh, history, uh, <laughs> science, and geography left. <laughs> History. Kids' history question. Nice. There were only male leaders in ancient Egypt. True or false? Mm. There were only male leaders in ancient Egypt. True or false? This is a, obviously a kid's question, I think. Just saying. Don't, don't be braggadoche. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't be braggadoche. I'm just saying. I need, I need a final, Hector, even though everyone said the same thing. In the chat. <laughs> well, he may disagree. False! A woman such as... Cleopatra? No. Nefertiti? Cleopatra wasn't a pharaoh. Hmm. Hatsput? Hatshepsut? Yeah, that person. I think Hatshepsut. Cleopatra wasn't a pharaoh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was she was not the ruler. As far as I know. I think that's right. I think she was just like a important person, but not a ruler. All right. Hmm. All right, we're continuing on. What are you taking, sweetie? This it's adults is now. Adult question. Uh, let's do. You got history and arts and leisure. Arts and leisure. Which apparently is about shoelaces. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take history. <laughs> history adult question. <laughs> on the con, on what continent would you find the cradle of humankind known for its famous archaeological finds? On what continent would you find the cradle of humankind? Known for its famous archaeological finds. The Indus Valley in Asia? Final answer? Sure. Africa! Darn it! I was like, it's either Africa or the Indus Valley. Africa! Nuts. And they yeah. all said Africa. Africa. I was thinking that and I was This like, is your nah. chance, Internet! This all is your right. chance! Alright, so you got, what do you got left? You got... Bummer. Geography and science and nature. That's right. This is your adult question, Africa. <laughs> your, this is your big kid question. <laughs> this is your big kid question, geography. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Name three of the five African nations whose names include the letter Z. Couldn't I have gotten this one? Name three of the five African nations that include, not start with, Include the letter Z. And this is as of 2013. As of 2013. That's actually significant for Because there's been some name changes recently. Speaking of Egypt, what? Name three of the oh, five Africa. African nations whose name include the letter Z. I'm going to give you a timer on this one because you can just talk for hours on this. I'm actually going to do a timer. I was ready with the timer, but now I'm not. <laughs> Where's my timer? I need a timer. I'm going to give you a timer. Where's my timer? Clock. Start. There's how much time you have, and then you need... Oh, they have it already. Oh, wow, look at you. Done. Tommy's answer final. He said, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Zaire. You are incorrect. Sorry, Tommy. Mozambique. You got Mozambique? Swaziland, Tanzania, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Those are your five. And I said as of 2013. And I think this still stands. Zaire is no longer called Zaire. Nope. It's called the Democratic Republic of Congo. Yep, it is. Which, man, when did that change? Incorrect answer. You would have been correct probably in the 90s. Yeah, 80s and 90s for sure. Because <laughs> I, I don't remember, know when it changed. Yeah, I don't remember when it changed either, but... I'm going to look it up. Yeah, too... yeah, that's... Tasmania and Tanzania. I, I feel that, Tommy. All right. Hector says lame. Ha ha, we both lost one. We're back, baby. <laughs> what was it? What, what country was it? That Zaire. Zaire. Yeah. Zaire. It was a pretty good chunk of... Zaire. Land, too. It was not a little area, if I remember correctly. Oh, Congo is humongous. Yeah, well, not as much as it used to be. It's broken up a bit now.
No, oh, Hector, I feel that. <laughs> Kids round would be back. 1997, so it was the so 90s. So it was the 90s, yeah. All right. So yeah, we would have learned that in school. But I was out of school by then, so I don't know nothing that happened after 1995. <laughs> All right, you're doing kids' questions. Stay in school, kids. Kids' questions. Um, well, apparently I'm going to do history again. History! <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see if Rebecca can get this one. Oh, what dear. wooden am animal, animal <laughs> did the ancient Greeks hide inside to capture the city of Troy? Are you serious? A cow, a dog, or a horse? I would have to turn in my teaching certification <laughs> if I got that wrong. We'll go with horse. Horse is correct. Yay, I got my pie piece. This is so much cooler All right, than kids my Kids question, question, Hector. We can do uh, geography or science <laughs> and nature. Kids question. What is a stop eating my sesame cake? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Geography. What country is associated with kilts and bagpipes? Tasmania? <laughs> it used to be called don't Zaire. <laughs> but now it's the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Not of Congo, of the, of the Congo. Congo. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a real horse. Paul, you got, you got that right. Hector... That counts as his final answer. He didn't say final. Darn it. <laughs> Rodney's shirts do kind of look like kilts. <laughs> Scotland is correct! <laughs> All right, Rebecca, you got an adult question. What's your last category? Uh, arts and literature. Arts and literature. The, we're going to talk about the, the stocks. Not stocks. The, the, the... Shoe ties. All right, here we go. Agler? Arts and literature. Paper mache means chewed up paper in French. True or false? Paper mache Crap. means chewed up paper in French. True or false? I'm going to go with false. Final answer? Yeah. It is true! Darn it! I thought it sounded kind of close to masticating. This is for the win! Darn it! For the win, I internet. Just my gut. For I'm the so win, wrong. internet. Science. <sighs> for the win. Oh, this is garbage. No science for no the win. No pressure. Oh, no pressure. Paper machete. Science. Science. How many of you guys out there know chemistry? Because you had a chemistry question. Ooh. What color does litmus paper turn when it comes into contact with acid? What color does litmus paper turn when it comes in contact with an acid? I exude chemistry. <laughs> Bye, James! Tommy, don't you teach a science? Not chemistry, though. I'm just messing with you. The correct answer is red. The internet wins. Tommy, That's you're actually technically correct because it ranges from a very light red through to pink, like pink to dark red, depending on how acidic it is. Garbage. This game is asterisk. <laughs> the internet wins. Not this year, Tommy. Yeah. I was going to say, I didn't think you did. So here we go, yeah, folks. Think, right? So here, here's the thing. Paper is not even a French word. It's papier. Well, it's, uh, yeah, I didn't pronounce it in French. Sorry. <gasps> oh, what? Garbage. It's got an extra letter in it. Because I think you actually... Geometry. The, okay. I think the reason it's called that because they actually used to stick it in their mouth. They, pro and, they must have. And then stuck it to the... I was seeing, I've seen people do it that way before. Maybe it's just the way the French... I don't know. Any, any so French viewers tell us what you do. I figured you'd be destroying machine. Rebecca at this point, so I threw in a ringer for Rebecca. Well, ye of little faith. Because now we're doing Trivial Pursuit Lord of the Rings! And watch me just biff this tonight. So you need to talk stoked. in the internet who is your Lord of the Rings super fan. And we're going to use the same rules that we did before in the family edition. <laughs> Lord of the Rings! A Trivial Pursuit. <coughs> Oof, that has dust somewhere on it. I who is our Lord of the Rings super fan? To help you out, here's the categories. 
Good characters, evil characters, things, place and history, warfare, and making of the movies are our categories. There's no kids questions. Sam and there's Weiss no kids the question. This is the... That's true troll. Lord of the Onion Rings. Nice, Fred. That sounds delightful. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> need, we, need a, we need a leader. Or I'll assign one. Gaming wife's throwing Hector under the bus again. Is he? A Hector yes. again? Is he a Lord of the Rings super fan? If not, he should be. <laughs> oh, who wants to volunteer? All you have to do is take in answers and pick one. It's not hard. You can do it. Paul, you should do it. Paul, you're a, you're a Lord of the Rings fan? Come on, Paul. Paul, 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 Paul. I'm watching the chat. I'm waiting. I'm Who waiting. will step up? Yeah. Who will fight me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, trolls throwing Caitlin under the bus. <laughs> Fight, fight, fight. What color am you were I missing? bragging. You were bragging in the chat. What color am I missing? Just show off your skills, kid. All right, bet. <laughs> oh, brown. I'm missing brown. Yeah. All right, Caitlin. Oh, Paul, Caitlin. Says, Paul says he'll do it. All right, Paul will do it. Paul will do it. Paul's our, our, uh -huh. Paul's our uh -huh. leader. I hope there's a next leader. We'll see. All right. If there's a next time, you're so right. you Lord of the Rings. Who, which one am I? So you get to be, you can be, uh... Frodo. Okay. Oh, I should let I'll Gandalf. Let, Paul, you get to pick. You can be uh, Gladriel or the last cool. one. Aragorn. No, is that Aragorn? Yeah. Yeah, Aragorn. Who else would it be? Boromir? Aragorn, Gladriel. Oh, you can't see this. Aragorn, Gladriel, Gandalf, Gandalf or Frodo. No Samwise? No yeah. Samwise. Just four. It's four players. It's four players. Waiting for Paul here. He gets to pick. Gladriel is the answer. All right, Gladriel. Well played, sir. Good choice. Who do you want to be? Uh, Aragorn. Aragorn. Done. He kicks butt and takes names. All right. So who went first that time? Rebecca. So yep. you guys go first. I need a category. The categories, again, are good characters, evil characters, things, places in history, places and history, not places in history, places and history. That would be cool, too. Warfare or making of the movies. Woo, boy. This is going to be... This is gonna be and what we're going to do is we're going to do how many rounds? We're going to do, because I don't want this to go forever, because some of these questions are really hard. Um, we're going to go, we're going to go, <laughs> we're going to go eight rounds each. One, two, no three, points off for spelling. four, Preach. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're going to do 16 cards, eight rounds each. And that will end it. Okay. So it's like sudden death. Yes. Sudden death. All right. No, you don't need it. I don't worry about spelling. All right, Paul, give us a category. Good characters, evil characters, things, places in history, warfare, or making of the movies. Are we lagging? No. No. They have to think. This is this is important. It is important. It's very important. You're Paul's also in this area, and he's probably getting crazy rainstorms, That's too. That's true. Yeah, he is. He's probably in the middle of the storm as well. Yeah. Oh, well, it's kind of quiet here. Bad, bad guys. guys! All right, here's your bad guy question. Who peers over the balcony of Orthanc with Saruman after the flooding of Isengard? Ooh, 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 ooh. You can't answer oh. his question. Now, let's try to keep it to about a minute or so per, per question. Who peers over the balcony of Orthanc with Saruman after the flooding of Isengard. Peers. Looks. Peers. Come on, Tommy. Looks. <laughs> the correct answer, of course, is Grimma. Warm tongue. Good job, Grima. Come down. And that is uh, blue. You get a blue peg. Done. Circle gets a square. Blue peg for Galadriel. Well played. What is your category, dear? Um, we're going to go through and let's do good characters. Good characters. That's green. I'll just start with that. Who tells Theoden that the courtesy of his golden hall is somewhat lessened of late? 
Gandalf. Is that your final answer? Yes. You're correct. Yeah! <laughs> the courtesy of your hall! Theoden. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't imitate his voice. Category no four. It's amazing. The internet. You have good characters, things, places, and history, warfare, or making of the movies. Woof. Woof. Grima. Grima. Grama. Good guys. Here we go. What fellowship member says fear will drive them to destroy what hope they have? What fellowship member says fear will drive them to destroy what hope they have? That's a good one. Delicious antrophies. So many flavors of Mio. That's a good one. That's a good quote. That is a good quote. Do you know the answer? Possibly. I'm not going to tell you people. They answered Legolas. What is your guess? I think it is the same. You're saying Legolas as well? I think so. No, the correct answer was given by God. Hector the Turtle. It is Boromir. Why does Boromir say that? I was thinking it was the when he was Legolas was given the speech and Aragorn yells at him in English and everyone's like, bruh. Um Boromir. Oh, I'm gonna have to think on that one. Woo! Oh, the hope! Ah, Hector! Good play! Nice! Okay. The hope. Yeah, it's during the council, I think. Yeah. Okay. Alright. That's that's What's good. your category, that's dear? Good. That's here's good. Your, that's your, that, was a, that was a sneaky one. Oh, uh, evil characters. Evil characters. <laughs> Who says the dwarves awaken shadow and flame in the darkness of Kazakh Doom? That is, um... Who says the dwarves awakened shadow and Saruman. flame in the darkness of Kazakhdoom? Kazakhdoom. Saruman. Saruman, final answer? Yep. Correct answer is Saruman. Woo! All right. Categories. Paul, we got uh, good characters, things, place, and history, warfare, and making of the movies. Good guys. Good guys again. What member of the Broken Fellowship finds the Elven Brooch as they track the Urukai? What member of the Broken Fellowship finds the Elven Brooch as they track the Urukai? If you haven't figured it out, this is um, it's the movies. Yeah. It's not the books. Yeah. So it's the movies. Don't throw out clues like that. I'm just saying, and <laughs> you should understand that there could yeah. be discrepancies if you're talking about the books versus the movies. That's true, too. It's, it is the movies. It's, this is Lord of the Rings, the movies. Paul says... I assume that's final. Paul, let me know. Yep, he says final. You are correct. It is Aragorn. Because he tracked over to where they had the scuffle. Mm-hmm. Anyway. All right, Rebecca. Oh, they got, they got a good guy. Yeah, they did. So we're tied, we are. But, that, we're but, tied. They, but they went first, so you're uh -oh. technically winning. Things. Kind of. You're things. gonna go with things. Things. This is terrifying me, but I'm gonna go with things. I'm just going in order of the little. I like this one. This is a tough one. Oh crap! Let's see, okay. let's see how good her memory is. What color vest does Bilbo wear at his birthday party? Green, I think. What color vest does Bilbo wear at his birthday party? Oh wait, vest? I was thinking. I think it's I think it's red. I'm what color red. vest? God, that's ridiculous. Does Bilbo wear at his birthday party? I need a final answer. Those all been have question marks at the end of them. Yeah, no. Red. Red. Final answer? Yeah. You are correct. Woo! Red. Woo! That scared me for a second there. <laughs> See, skilled, you are uh you're on fire. I can tell we got all a right. Lord of the Rings fan in the house. All right, Paul, we got Burgundy Hector. Things, place in history, <laughs> warfare or making of the movies. Rebecca is winning. Of course, this is my... War! War! Going with war. War. 
What color flights are the arrows the elves shoot at Helm's Deep? Wow! <laughs> what color flights are the arrows the elves shoot at Helm's Deep? Wow! <laughs> Hector's better at fake geography. I feel that. <laughs> Samwise. <laughs> Trolls answering Samwise. For every, it's, like that, it's like in Trivial Pursuit if you don't know the name. You just, it's the same actor every my time. Students, my students do that in Kirtama and they're always like, Nero. Nero's always Paul the answer. says white. What would be your answer, sweetheart? Ugh, I want to say silver too with skilled, but I, I think they're, my guess would be gold. That could be too. Gosh, see, I don't uh Correct answer is white. It is white. But that's so, they're so similar. Oh, and it, see, the problem is if you played any of the video games and stuff too, like that just messed with my mind. I, well played. We're that was good. That was good, guys. All Wait, right. They got, you got four. They only got three. You're, you're, you're winning before. I only got three. Oh, that one looks, okay. I thought. Yeah, I only got three. My we're brain tied. Said, we're tied. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, what am I doing? I read uh, Place and History. Place and History, which is red. Okay. How many days and nights do the trackers chase the Urukai captors across Rohan? How many days and nights do the trackers chase the Urukai captors across Rohan? Oh my gosh. I'll go with six. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Six or seven, I want to say. I thought it was five. Was it five? I don't remember. Mm. Three. Darn it! Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay. Three days. Okay, it was less time than I thought. Okay, All darn right. it. All right, so now we're officially tied. Two days, five nights. <laughs> we're officially tied. All right, Paul. You've got, uh, what do you None got? None of us got, got things, place in history, and making of the movies. And just for your edification, we have... Can you count? <laughs> you Eight look... questions left. Ooh. Okay. 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 Four each. Okay. Paul's going to go with history. Hmm. How fast does Gollum say the dead marshes must be crossed? And this is multiple choice. You get a multiple choice. That's wow. pretty good. How fast does Gollum say the dead marshes must be crossed? Swift as an arrow, quick as shadows, or fast as a fox? How fast does Gollum say the dead marshes must be crossed? Swift as an arrow, quick as shadows, or fast as a fox? <laughs> Hector. Quick as shadows. Is that final? I don't know. <laughs> I need the word final, Paul. Just to make sure. That's true. Even though everyone on your team said the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. It's a pretty, pretty safe bet, right? <laughs> Stop, the rain's starting to pick up again. I can actually hear yeah. it. <laughs> Waiting for the word, Paul. Give me that word. <laughs> Fine. All right. Okay. Okay. The correct answer, of course, is quick as shadows. I was gonna say, you guys nailed that one. Nailed it. All right, Rebecca, you got what? Th two, three yeah, categories. I'm kind of scared by. They're your... ahead now. I know. I'm scared by your warfare question, though. That uh, place in history. I'm just gonna keep going in order. That place in plan. history. Red. Yep. What city is Theoden referring to when he tells Gambling, Gambling, we will return. What city is there then referring to when he tells Gambling, we will return? Oh, he's talking about um, um, capital of Rohan. Um, oh my gosh. Edoras. Isn't that what it's called? The, 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 uh, it sounded like there was a question. Edoras. Right That's the answer. The correct answer is, of course, Edoras. Okay. 
Uh, oof, Edoras. That was scary. I would have or Edoras, my if you want to be all fancy. Edoras. That's how they say it in the movies. Okay, Aragorn, your sword's in the way. I can't put my piece in, pie piece in all the way. That's messed up, dude. Okay. All right, Paul, you got two questions, two categories left. We've got making of the movies and things. <laughs> These are such Me- tough categories things left. Things and making things. of the movies. He says things. Things. Yep, he says things. That's orange. Okay. Which I should assemble because there's no orange. It's a tree. Huh? It, it, don't, it doesn't have a color. Oh, that I have is to look, I have to look at the oh, symbol. Oh, that's true. Okay, I was like, you confused me. All right, here's your thing. Okay, okay, okay. Who reads Marlin's journal aloud to the Fellowship in the Mines of Moria? They call it a mine. Who reads Marlin's journal aloud to the Fellowship? In the mines of Moria. Uhura <laughs> things and supplies. I love it. <laughs> Her Klingon was a bit rusty, wasn't it? <laughs> Hector. Savvy. I'm waiting now, okay, Kelsey. Who else are we missing? Uh, skilled. Yep, yep. The usual the usual suspects are chiming in. <laughs> Why is the great? <laughs> <laughs> and the answer, of course, Neutral. is Gandalf. Gandalf. Man, they are hanging with you, sweetie. They are. You guys are rock stars. Of course, they man. have a group think. But... All right, what do you got left? Yellow. You going to warfare. Do warfare? Yeah. Who says the Battle of Helm's Deep is over? The battle for Middle Earth is about to begin. Who says? I think that's Gandalf. The Battle of Helm's Deep is over. The battle for Middle Earth is about to begin. I'm going to go with Gandalf. Final answer? Yes. It is a Gandalf. Woo! You scared me for a second there. Ooh. Okay. We're up and they die. <laughs> all right. All you got left is making the movies. Again, we're going to use the same rules. We're equal, both. Equal number of questions. And then for the tiebreaker, I pick the category. Okay. Okay. And it's it's always going to be equal number of rounds. So that's okay. fair. Okay. All right. Here is your making of the movies question, Paul. <laughs> All right, this is as of the making of the game. This could matter. Oh, dear. And the game was made... When was the game made? Uh, it was, it's a while back. The Wayback Machine? 2003. Oh, wow, okay. The game was made in 2003. Okay. So this is relevant as of 2003, but it's... it's it, After I, the I, trilogy was filmed. So here words. is your question, making of the movie. Which cast member has read The Lord of the Rings every year since its publication? And that, that's going to be a person's name, not a character's name. <laughs> Which cast member has read The Lord of the Rings every year since its publication? Samwise. Samwise. You're going to be right sooner or later, Neutral. <laughs> what? Tommy, that makes no sense. You're talking about me. Oh. <laughs> there, Christopher Lee. Christopher Lee yeah, is the that guy. Answer. That guy. He was actually a consultant with... He consulted with the... Uh, He's so... That guy's amazing. Steve <sighs> Jackson. So All right. They have... They have... The pressure is on. I know. If you miss, it is I over. Know. I know. If you miss, it is over. Oh, okay. And you turn in your Lord of the Rings... That is gone. ...card. Okay. Whoa. It's an interesting question. What lubricating product... Was slathered on the orc's prosthetic skin so they look shiny and sweaty. Vaseline. What lubricating product is it lubricating? was slathered on the orc's prosthetic skin so they look shiny and sweaty? I'm going to go with Vaseline. Is that your final answer? Yes. The correct answer is KY Jelly. You ah! lose! That's some garbage. It really was. 
What? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you lose. That's a making of the movie question. That's not trivia. It's part of making the movie. Oh my god. That is very much a part of making the movie. It's not the part movie. of the lore of Lord of the Rings. No, it's making of the movie. That's part of making. So it's a tie, and I have the tiebreaker. It's a tie. They won two, and you won two. Oh, that's no wait. True. Is that right? I... Yeah. Think who so. won what? You, they won. You won. Who won Box of Rocks? I did. Who won Connect Four? You did. Yeah. And then they won. Tri they won both trivia's. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's tied. Okay. The the Battle of Wits tiebreaker. Oh goodness! What is going on? Rock paper scissors for the win. That is the most garbage thing ever. Rock paper scissors. For How? the win. The ultimate battle of wits. That is the stupidest battle. Turn around. Oh my. Rock, paper, Garbage. scissors for the win. Can you guys see me? You need to come to a consensus. Can you see me? We're going to take votes starting now. We're going to vote for one minute. You get one vote per person. Rock, paper, or scissors. Wh whichever vote is the majority for the internet is your choice. <laughs> and Rebecca will shoot and we'll see who wins. Let's get the votes going, guys. <sighs> I'm so I can't believe this is what it comes down to. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it ten more seconds. We couldn't do a round of zombie dice or something. No, rock paper. <laughs> That's the ultimate battle of wits. No, it is not. Yes, it is. The ultimate battle of wits is clear. They have you. chosen. Okay. One, two, three, shoot. Flip around. Rebecca has defeated you! They chose ah! Rock! Yes! I am the ultimate victor! Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> kid! No! <laughs> no! No! It counts. It totally counts. Oh, you have to declare the thumb more. The thumb more? I'd probably lose that. <laughs> Rebecca has defeated you in this battle of wits. <laughs> Clearly, the poison is in front of you. <laughs> I really I thought am diminished. I, I really, I really, I really thought about doing some kind of poison contest, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. So. Kind of like um, um, Jackbox yeah, the murder yeah, trivia yeah. thing. Have pictures of the. All right, I mean, Rebecca internet. defeated you. You, you guys are obviously the trivia. Oh, that's so and sad she, to me tonight. And she is the weird game winner. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear! You All right, guys, folks. You guys are awesome. That was fun. That, that was a lot of fun. is it. Oh, neutral, well played. What? Bring it all the way around. He goes. This did not, not go, go, as, go planned. as planned. Yes. Nice. All right, that's nice. it for tonight, folks. Thanks for participating. I enjoyed that. That was that fun. was fun. That was and we fun. may do that again. Maybe Rebecca can do a battle of wits, and I'll be the witty one and fight you in her battle. I'm of wits. liking this. Yes. So if you want to come up with a battle of wits that's quick and easy with the internet, I will fight them. I like it. To the death. We will discuss this. All right, so next week, <laughs> next week we are totally going to steal the Brothers Murph idea. I like it. I actually I actually messaged them. They haven't got back to me yet. I said, we're, I'm still in their idea. <laughs> they, can, they can deal with it. They'll, 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 they'll be so happy. next week, it's the top ten. They called it one in a hundred games. We may Is call that what they that. called it? I thought they called it like Tenception or something. No, one in a hundred games. Oh, okay. We that, may call it something else, but I like, cool yeah, I like the one in a hundred. I do like that. We're going to take the top 1,000 of Board Game Geek. We're going to bucket it in, in sections of a hundred, so one to a hundred, 101 to 200, etc. And Rebecca and I get to pick our favorite game of, of each, each set. Each hundred. We may end up with the same game. We may not. We're not going to actually compare lists because I like, I like the surprise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we tend to not to compare lists. So, so that will be... Tommy's wanting to get banned from the chat. I don't know. Tommy, Tommy can talk all the smack he wants. Now that he finally won, now that he finally won an eighteen XX game, he's out of control. <laughs> he thinks he's the ruler of the world or something. I, I don't know, man. So next week, our top ten gameception. So you guys should look at BGG too, so you can pick. Yeah, look at your set. look at That'd your be fun. I like it when you guys add it in the chat. Sections of hundred. Yeah, look at them by sections. We're gonna of 100. start with nine hundred one to a thousand. That'll be our ten. 
and then go to and back one to, to hundred. And yep. we're gonna do it as a. We'll probably do it probably Sunday or Monday. So like they they kind of change the, a little bit over time, bit, but, but not too much. Yeah. All right, that's next week. That's going to be fun. And then beyond that, maybe I think it is time. You haven't fought the internet in a while. If you want to come up with an internet fight, I'll do that the week after that. I'll, I'll bring it. I'll bring I, I I'll already, bring my, I already, my big old brain. I right? already think I've got some... I, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think i got some... Let's get out of here. All right, guys. That was magnificent. And thank you for spending all the extra time with us tonight. It was an extra long, extra brainy episode. So much fun. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. You beat Rebecca. <laughs> no, Rushy, you won. I'm one. They beat me at trivia. That does make me sad. <laughs> what? Let Rebecca win. <laughs>